Good morning. It's Sunday again. I'm so glad you're here with me for our Sunday School lesson this week. This week we're going to talk about Doubting Thomas. And I think most of you know what doubt means, but just in case, I have an example to show you uh, what the word doubt means. I have this glass jar here, and I'm going to put some rocks in it. See if they'll all fit in a little noisy here. Let's see what all these rocks fit. Shake it down a little bit so they'll fit in there. Wow, that's, that's pretty full. That's a full jar of rocks. Well, do you think that I can put anything else in that jar? Well, I have an idea. I have some sand here. Let's see if we can put the sand in the jar with the rocks. It looks like it's going in. Did you doubt that the sand would fit in there? Oh boy, now that is really full with the rocks and the sand. So, does anybody doubt that I could put something else in there? I think maybe I can add some water. Taking a little time to soak in and go down. But look at that water. It's filling all the spaces that were actually still there. That some of you might have doubted there was any room left. But there was room for the water. So... When I asked if you thought anything else would fit in there and you thought, no way, that would be doubting. So let's get to our lesson now. Last week we studied about the night of Easter when Jesus' disciples were in that locked room and Jesus appeared suddenly and he showed them the holes in his hands and the spot in his side where the spear pierced him. Well, the next day, the disciples saw Thomas. He wasn't there on Easter Sunday night. And they told them what had happened with Jesus, that he, they saw the holes and they saw where the spear had pierced him. But Thomas said, there is no way that I am going to believe that unless I see it for myself. The next Sunday, the disciples met in another locked room. This time, Thomas was with them, and suddenly Jesus appeared, and he said, Peace be with you. Then he walked over to Thomas, and he showed him his hands, and he said, Put your finger in the hole where the nail pierced my hand. Look at my side. You can see where the spear pierced me. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas called out to Jesus, my Lord and my Savior. I do believe. Finally, he knew Jesus was alive. Then Jesus told Thomas, you believe I'm alive because you have seen me. Blessed are all the people who believe and yet they haven't seen me. So that's our memory treasure this week from John chapter 20, verse 29. Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So work on learning that memory treasure this week. And let's fold our hands and bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving us faith to believe in you, even though we have not seen you. Help us always believe that you are our risen Savior. We look forward to seeing you when we live in heaven with you forever. Amen. All right, have a good week, and I will see you next Sunday for our Sunday School lesson.